Hello, my boys. Today we're going to do something really special. I'm here with Wurzelwilli and Linia Leander, and today we're going to do the integral of the inverse tangent of x. So, the inverse tangent of x, we can rewrite this as integral of 1 times inverse tangent of x. And because we have no idea how to uh, integrate this, we might as well try differentiating it. So, the arctangent is a complicated function to um, differentiate, but no problem, we have our special math techniques. We know that arctangent x is equal to y, so let's rewrite this bad boy to tangent of y equaling to x. We know the um, de uh, de derivative of this, of course. So we put the formula for inverse functions on the um, on the board. It's really simple. So this is our inverse function, and the formula says that um, the derivative of the inverse function is one over the derivative of the normal function um, of the inverse function. So we know this, and let's. Um, Let's apply it here. We know that the tangent of y, the derivative of the tangent of y, equals 1 over cosine squared y. This is like elementary stuff. So we know this for sure. And now let's just plug that bad boy in. Arctangent, the derivative of arctangent of x equals this bad boy here, so the derivative of the normal function is uh, 1 over 1 over cosine square of, um, of the inverse function, so of arctangent, arctangent of x. The, there we go, and we can rewrite this as cosine squared, because we have two um, reciprocals here, we can just rewrite this as cosine squared of arctangent x, but we still don't know what this is, so let's make some math magic here. We know that um, sine square, the square of sine is equal to the sine of the square of the sine, so that's really basic. We can rewrite this as tangent squared times cosine squared. This is like the definition of the tangent. And now we can rewrite this with the, um, with the fact that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. We can rewrite this to 1 minus cosine squared. Easy. Now we can pull out the cosine squared and we get cosine squared times um, tangent squared um, minus one? Plus one. Plus one. There we go. Equaling to one. Easy. Now we can rewrite this as well and we get that the cosine squared is equal to one over tangent squared plus one. Easy as that. So now let's take this formula and rewrite this as um, 1 over tangent of arctangent of x squared plus 1. There we go. And as we see, tangent arctangent is equal to x. So the derivative of arctangent of x is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1. Alright, now so what's the meaning? <laughs> let's plug this new information in. We know the partial integration u times v are differentiated equals to u times v minus integral of u differentiated times v. So our um, integral like this equals to um, 1 integrated equals to x times inverse tangent of x 
minus the integral of x times the differentiation of inverse tangent of x. This is 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. Now let's introduce a substitution. 1 plus x squared equals u and 2x dx equals du. Therefore, dx equals du over 2x. Now, if we plug this uh, substitution in here, we get x times inverse tangent of x minus integral of um, x and 2x cancel out. So we stay with 1 half, 1 over u du. And now this uh, integral is the natural logarithm of u. Therefore, we get x times inverse tangent of x minus 1 half times natural logarithm of u. And to go back with the substitution, we plug in 1 plus x squared plus uh, constant c. Thank you.